Tim. I'm Tyler. We're Double Down Reviews. Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And uh, we're doing another Marvel one for the March to Infinity War, so let's get to it. Today from Hot Toys we have the Iron Man 3 Mechanic Tony and Winter Soldier Black Widow. Some good looking figures folks. Yep. Take a look at the packaging first. Uh, this Mechanic Tony Stark just has a picture of the figure on the front. The whole box is kind of a blue tint. Inside a quote from Tony Stark saying you can take away my suits but I am Iron Man. And then the cradle inside with accessories around where the figure would lay. Which we will go over when we get to accessories. As for the Black Widow one, uh, like we said, this one is from uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, front just has a picture of Scarlett Johansson. It says the character name down the side right there. And I believe this one will also have probably a quote on the inside. And no, we don't have a quote. <laughs> we, don't, we don't got nothing. Uh, just the cradle on the inside, a couple of her other accessories. Um, let's get into the figures. We'll go to Tony Stark first. Uh, this is from Iron Man 3 when he loses his suits and he's kind of got to improvise some weaponry. So he comes with a bunch of the stuff that he makes in the movie. Uh, we'll go over to that. He has this uh, like air pressure nail gun he makes. Let's go. I'll show you the details of that in the pictures. Um, on his backpack. There's accessories. He has a newspaper article about him being supposedly dead. He has this little homemade taser. He has like a homemade grenade from a like a Christmas ornament. It looks like. Yeah. And then some kind of like injection syringe and a bottle mix that he it's made. A toilet wine. <laughs> toilet wine. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a a plumb bob and this little like fold out. I believe this actually folds out. Little fold out tool. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Pliers that actually goes in there. And the backpack opens up, and you can put accessories in there if you want to put all the stuff inside if you want. I prefer like hanging it on the outside, just kind of cool to see all the accessories on his back like that. And he has uh, the boot here and the arm gauntlet on, because in the, in the third movie, he is able to like call the parts of the suit to him. So he has like magnets embedded in his body. So this is like parts of the suit that he calls to himself. This arm, I believe, also lights up. Yep. Got a little light on there. The gauntlet. This is also just magnetized. Just pops off of the forearm. I believe he has another arm in the accessories we'll look at, where you can just replace that if you just want his human hand. Um, the sculpt actually looks amazing. Looks yeah. a lot like Robert Downey Jr. <clears throat> He's got some battle damage on him from the crash in the suit and the attack on his house. So there's some blood and bruises on there, but it's actually a really good sculpt. <laughs> we'll do articulation on him now. Uh, on the shoe over here, it's like a slight ankle rock, ankle cut left and right, double knee joint so you can fold it all the way back. The pants are pretty elasticy actually, so you got some stretch there. Forward and back, left and right, side to side. He's got a waist bend, mid torso, head is on a ball joint, swivel up here. Uh, the elbow actually does have movement on this, even though there is a magnet in there that pops it off here. The, like the joint is right where the magnet is. Wrist turns on there, shoulder up and down, back and forth. Shoulder on this side, all the way around. So the Taking shoulder on this one, is that similar to the um, Pepper Potts, where it's like just the whole removable arm? Uh, I believe it, it actually connects... Or is it just another magnet? Just above the elbow, kind of like the Star Wars figures. Oh, okay. You pop it, it out just goes above out. the elbow. And then the forearm and human hand is on the other hand. Um, elbow on this side, I feel like... You guys aren't backwards? Maybe that one's just a sculpted. Oh, there it is. Okay. Just stiff. 
Yeah, okay, so there's an elbow joint there, it's just stiff right now. Back and forth, and the wrist joint, and obviously the wrist peg pops off for changeable hands. Go over his accessories quick, pop these out of the box. All right, for accessories for the Tony Stark figure, he has the other shoe, if you want to take the Iron Man boot off and roll his pants down. Uh, he has an Uzi that he uses in the movie. He has alternate hands for the different weapons and little gadgets that he has. One, two, three, four human hands. Five, if you include the forearm that you can exchange out for that hand. He has an alternate hand with his like shock glove that he makes out of the kitchen appliance pieces. Uh, there's an articulated Iron Man hand with like actual bendable digits. There's a wrist guard for the straight wrist piece if you want him to just have his hand down and not doing this. There is this little piece, so it's plastic on it. Take this off. Just pulls the details <laughs> off. Okay. Uh, this is like the visor he wears and he's controlling the Iron Man suit remotely. It's like a little goggle piece. There are his pair of sunglasses, his aviator sunglasses he wears. And there is the watch that he gets from the kid in the garage. And then this piece is like supposed to be like his heads-up display when he's in the Iron Man suit. It kind of has that like hologram display around his face. And this like clips around the character's head. That's cool. I didn't know it came with that. Yeah, it comes with a lot of accessories. That's really cool. I think this figure was actually pretty cheap too. I, don't I think it was like one ninety nine. Yeah, I don't, one of the cheaper ones. I don't think it was like actually a very good seller. Uh, really? So yeah, the the price went down quickly on this figure. But I think he's sweet, and I love all the accessories he comes with, plus the awesome Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt. Yeah. We can take a look at Black Widow now. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, here we got Black Widow from Winter Soldier. Uh, this figure, they did the rooted hair instead of the sculpted hair. Um, sometimes I'm not a big fan of rooted hair, but I think this one, it worked really well. And the, the head sculpt is really, really impressive. Um, she comes with her her two handguns. I guess I never even noticed it in the movie. She has her the Black Widow symbol. Yeah, the yeah. little Black Widow symbol on her belt. Uh, little platform boots. Um, posability. I don't think it really puts too much stress on the figure. I mean, you could probably have her doing. Well, I guess the legs are pretty tight. Yeah, legs. When it's ever, whenever there's a character in like a one piece suit, yeah, you always feel it in the legs. But, uh, you know, I mean, you could have her doing a running pose, you could have her arms out, you could have her shooting her guns. You know, I don't think anything's going to really stop you from being able to pose her that way. Um, accessories. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hands total. So all these ones. Yeah. Fist, gun gripping hands. Yep. Open, just open palm. Then these are uh, the, like, wrist guards that go around right there, so you can interchange those if you want to. And then, is this like the com? This is the com link yeah, we'll that see. they have in Winter Soldier. I don't know if the magazine comes out, but the slide I might, goes. I might have the slide goes back. Oh yeah, the slide does go back. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, the guns can also go in her little side holsters too, if you don't want to pose her with the guns. Let's put the guns down here. They fit in just like that. Do a quick measurement of these two characters. Mechanic Tony Stark is about 11 and 3 quarters, just under 12 inches. And the Winter Soldier Black Widow is just over 11. About, yeah, just over 11 inches. I think these are two great figures and they just keep on pumping them out it's like every new movie does a new version of the character you yeah. gotta decide if you want to buy another one or sell your old one or just keep collecting them uh, I can't stop <laughs> <laughs> it's a real problem they're all amazing and I'm sure you can find these 
at local comic shops on eBay if you're looking. Um, they're a great addition to a collection. They look awesome on the shelf with all the accessories. Mechanic Tony Stark, Winter Soldier, Black Widow. Two awesome figures with sweet accessories. They look awesome on the shelf. Pick them up if you can find them. And continue watching our coverage of our March to Infinity War with all of our Marvel characters this month. Also, picked these up at Target today. Little Infinity War Lego sets. Got the Sanctum with Doctor Strange and then some Wakanda attack with Black Widow and Captain America. So we're going to go build these now. Yeah, and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Bye. See ya.